U.S. Spacewalk 89 will be conducted by Laura O'Hara as EV-1 with the red stripes and Andreas Mogensen as EV-2. EV-1 will egress the airlock and stow the microorganisms caddy on their swing arm. EV-2 will retrieve a medium-sized bag with a high-definition camera in it. After a quick buddy check, EV-2 will translate up the truss to the port side to set up for their next task. They will drop their safety tether as well at this location. Meanwhile, EV-1 will begin the microorganism sampling by first getting a control sample in free space. Then they will flip the microorganisms caddy to get to the sample side, open the thermal cover, and then take a sample of the vestibule area with the first sample from the caddy. They will then take a sample of the thermal cover itself. When complete, they will close the thermal cover and get another sample on the aft side of the airlock between two handrails. Once complete, EV-1 will translate to the aft nadir portion of the lab to get a sample of the carbon dioxide removal assembly vent. This will be the first of three vent sample locations on the lab. EV-1 will then translate ISS forward on the lab to the port side to get a sample from the oxygen generation assembly vent. The last vent location is on the port nadir aft section of the lab to get a sample of the vacuum exhaust system. EV-1 will remove the multi-layer insulation to get sample on this vent and then return the insulation. When complete with all of these vents, EV-1 will translate back to the airlock. Meanwhile, EV-2 will translate to the port lower outboard camera to relocate an ethernet cable to the base of the stanchion and to pre-stage some tethers. EV-2 will then retrieve an articulating portable foot restraint to install on the robotic arm. Once installed on the robotic arm, EV-2 will ingress the foot restraint and retrieve the bag with the new camera. Then the robotic arm will fly EV-2 over to the camera location for the removal and replacement of the new high definition camera. EV-2 will install a handling aid on the old high-definition camera, release a cable restraint, and demate two power cables. They will partially release the old camera using the cam lever and install a lens cover. Then fully release and temp stow the old camera on the outside of the bag. Next, EV-2 installs the new camera, removes the lens cover, and stows the old camera inside the bag to stop its thermal clock. Then they will remake the power cables into the new high definition camera with wireless access. The rest of this task will be dedicated to properly routing two power cable and the wireless access port cable to allow full pan tilt capability for the camera group. This includes installing a clamp and a strap to restrain the cables. Lastly, EV-2 will maneuver to the base of the camera stanchion to mate the high definition wireless access port cable to the ethernet cable previously relocated. While EV-2 works on the camera replacement, EV-1 will stow the microorganisms caddy in the airlock and retrieve the DC to DC converter unit jumper cable bag and translate to the P4-P5 interface. EV-1 will need to drop a green tether to reach on their safety tether. Once at the worksite, EV-1 will install the jumper cable between two DC to DC converter units that will create additional fault tolerance in the event of an integrated equipment assembly DC to DC converter unit were to fail. 
the old cables will be stowed on a dummy pen. When complete, EV1 will check with EV2 to see if they need any help with the camera replacement and then move back to the airlock. EV1 will swap bags to get the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer or AMS bag and then translate starboard to the AMS worksite. They will stow the bag on the AMS handrail and then work to relocate a cable that is in the way of the ingress location on the truss. EV2 will be flying on the robotic arm back to the egress position. They will egress and clean up the robotic arm including stowing the portable foot restraint and translating back to the airlock after they retrieve their bag. They will stow the old high definition camera and then translate out to the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer worksite with EV1. Once at the worksite, EV2 will guide EV1 into the truss near the patch panel, avoiding areas that could damage the hardware. They will work together to remove beta cloth by cutting the lacing cord. EV1 will test the connector DMATE simulator tool on the exposed connectors to assess access. Then the two crew will carefully swap positions to allow EV2 to access access with the tool at the patch panel location. Again, being careful not to touch any harmful areas. When complete, they will take closeout photos of the patch panel and re-secure the beta cloth. Then EV2 will egress the truss element and EV1 will retrieve the crew lock bag and both crew members will translate back to the airlock. And that will successfully conclude US Spacewalk 89. Subscribe for more space.